welcome to the sit down brought to you by Jam Just African Music. I'm your girl, Gabi Mack. I also have Squeaks here with me. Hey. You guys already see I have a guest. You know, here we are talking about the music industry, the African music industry, the highs and lows, all the challenges, obstacles, everything. And we, you know, just getting to know, you know, our artists in general. Um, I'm ready. Are you guys ready? Because I'm ready to start. Um, we do have a guest here for you guys today. So let's not waste time and jump right into the sit down. Dynamic duo consisted of Saucy Bossy and Vuka. Hey, they said the Saucy Bossy well. Saucy Bossy. Oh, saucy. sorry, sorry. Base, base. Saucy Bossy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. All right, so they're Ghanaian musicians who currently reside in America and they have some fire singles, and we're just going to get to know them more to see how their journey is to stardom. So, hey guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. welcome. Jam, 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 jam. Give more energy, more of them. Listen, listen, we're here. Amazing, feeling good, feeling mm -hmm. great. You guys look Thankful amazing. For life. Yes. Thank you so much. You guys look amazing too. Mm -hmm. And you look spectacular. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so tell us a little bit about yourselves. I know it's too young, so you guys. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Peter, Peter Bossman. Um, Kweku, born in Wednesday. Oh, boy. I'm from Ghana, you know, obviously. From Bekum, Bekum, Ghana. Like I said. And then I, I've been doing this um, before I was born. Hey! <laughs> 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 I've been doing this before I was born, you know. Um, I started like when I was um, in class four or five. You know, uh, we had we had this thing we call Kid Affairs okay. in our school, and then you know I used to I used to rap, you know, VIP, or Bravo, mm -hmm. this, this, you know. Dropping gems, dropping gems. Yes. So <laughs> we've been doing this for a long time. We paid all the dues. Okay. The year we are cut. You got it. So they're not up and coming. Okay, they paid their dues. Paid all the dues. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, you know, bro. Yeah, that's my man right here. Uh, I'm Henry Osei Akuto, and uh, also from Ghana. Uh, live in New York currently. Uh, born and raised in, I was born in Beijing, so we are from BA, Brown Um uh, went, went to school in, in Sunyani. And I started where, at a very young age, I used to play trumpet in, in church. I used to play like in brass band. I should have brought my trumpet. I should have brought my trumpet. So, yeah, we, I used to sing, uh, I used to sing in culture, like culture centers and like in the chain. But it was just something that we did for, for fun, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then now we're here. Yeah, it's, just, it's just been, it's been a journey. Thank God that you know we've, we've lived to see this life that, that we really appreciate. Yeah, yeah still living, so you're not done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so how did you guys you know get together? I know you guys said you both went you know you're from the same place, but like when did you guys decide to join together to become two one eight? So that was like 20, 2018? 2018, uh, 2017, right? We started 2017, talking. In 2017, we started talking. Yeah, but he was doing his own thing, and I just, I was doing my own thing, play music, um, uh, play trumpet in church, I sing in church. Mm -hmm. um, and was it? Actually, uh, yeah, actually, I, 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 had a group, I had a group before we met. Yes. Okay. I had a group yes. way back in school. I was in St. Peter's. Yeah. Okay. And then, yeah, we, we had a group, um, um, Prime Boys. Yes. You know, we used to perform in all the <laughs> girls' schools. Yes. 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 yes, all the girls' schools. Yeah. The emphasis on the girls. Tell, tell us more. Tell us more. Tell us more, you know. And then, um, because I traveled, we, we couldn't. But it was destined to be. Mm -hmm. I think so. Yes, yes. It was destined to be. Sometimes you know you gotta pass through some some channels yeah. before you get where you, you go to. So, 2018. So I, this is actually how I don't know if you remember, bro, but uh, we were. He came to New York, right? And we were just chilling in, in a couch like this. And usually I like to cook, 
So when we're cooking, uh, we go out to cook. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's like, wow, yeah, like, yeah. I like to, like to cook. Like to cook. <laughs> we like to cook. I like to cook and he likes to eat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we're, 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 we're shoving it down and, and uh, I remember one of our, our friends, uh, her name is Grace. Mm. Uh, she's, she's, she's like family. Uh, we started like we, we playing beat on the TV. And that's one thing that we do. Like if I hear a beat, I start going, da -da 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 -da. Mm -hmm. you know. And then he's like, "Oh man, that's good." And then he started rapping. So I'm like, "Oh shit, you rap? Oops, you uh, got oh, feel free. Don't, <laughs> that's it. Feel don't, free, feel free. don't let the New York call in. You know what I'm saying? But uh, we started, and then I started shouting, "Oh great, hey. right? Oh great!" And then uh, he started rapping, and oh, you know, Grace was standing there like. Which and, and that day we composed a song, right? We actually made a song that day. Do you remember that song? I think it was... Uh... Oh, the one in the cell, I'm going to make a bed It's a mystery, I'm going to see what I'm going to say Ah, yeah, the one in the cell, I'm going to make a bed And then, and then, and then, and then so we, we that's when we was like, you know what, we gotta and then Grace was like, you guys gotta, you know, do something. So we, we finally started talking about it and and we're here. Wow. Funny enough that that song be we're still working it. Like, how we didn't we didn't record it. We didn't even record it oh. for again, so. But why did you guys not record it? No, we will. We've got we'll get there. It was it's the it's, first it's, one. It should have been like I know, it's it's you gotta crawl and then You should put us in the crawl. video, you know what I'm saying? So long yes. hey. If you guys don't know, I mean I'm a video girl. I've done multiple videos. Uh, but you say you dance, right? Uh ex dancer, I don't dance anymore. Tell him, hurry and pull. Hurry and pull. Hurry and pull. I mean I've been I've been in videos like Burn a Boy. Oh yeah? Just, just throw it out there. You know? <laughs> you're outside. You're outside. You're outside. So you know y'all need a big girl. You're outside. <laughs> outside. Alright, so why 218 vibe? Or is it just 218s? It's, it's a beautiful story. Okay, so what did you guys come up with the name? <clears throat> mm -hmm. I'll let you have it. <clears throat> so you know, Peter Boss man, June 21st. 2-1-21st. Say a quarter. Master, call me that one more time. Okay, what is it? Okay. December, no, 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 no. December. Or say my and he's trying to say, like, he's trying to work and say, because, uh. you know, my last, my last name was trying to say, like, right, this girl, and then the girl was like, what's your name? <laughs> no, I didn't say that. Uh, uh, uh. This for the camera. Yeah, so I never say that. So, 2-1-8, it's, um, it's um, our birthdays mm -hmm. that we put together. Because oh. we wanted to, you know, have something unique, mm -hmm. something that we can, we can, you know, relate to, something that means something to us, mm -hmm. you know. And then I don't think there's anything that's more important to anyone than birthdays, mm -hmm. you know. So like two one, that's twenty first June, like I said, and then eighth December. So uh -huh. two one eight. Okay. And in the spell, and we just didn't want to, we didn't want to put it in numbers, mm -hmm. like two, like so. Common spell, right? T O O. Um, it's to like every everything that you want to kind of uh, pluralize it or broaden it. You say this is too much. This is too this. No, no, because we are too low. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we are too, man, this one, we are too much. We are too much. Yeah. Right? So we spelled that, and then we're like, you know what? Let's throw something unique out there, and then W A N, just to make it, you know, unique, and then put the number yeah, eight. Put so, number eight. Yeah. And uh, we usually we say two one eight vibe. We say vibe because. We like to vibe everything it's that we do. It's it's but the vibe. name is actually it's a calling and it's a vibe. Okay. It's a calling. Hey, hey, I like that. Hey, I like that. Hey, hey, right. hey, 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 it's a calling. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Okay. So we kind of got to know you guys a little bit. So let's jump into the the juicy stuff. The real juicy mm -hmm. stuff. The, tea. the juicy. Okay. okay. Don't so. <laughs> we don't know because of money. Or <laughs> it's coming. It's okay. Coming. Okay. So I mean, on the show, we, we we talk about you know the industry. We talk about African music. So how do you, how would you guys describe that? Like right now, how African music is, Ghanaian music, whatever, just African music in general. How would you describe it, especially being here in the States? Okay. Um, 
to begin that, I, I, and like, I, I, I tell you your name, Jam, that's the African right there. That's, that's, I love it, right? Yeah. Here just, it. Here just it. African music, <laughs> and I, I, I love it, right? We both do, as a matter of fact. Um, African music is, is right now, it's getting, it's gaining grounds mm -hmm. all over the world, especially here. I can only talk about America because this is where I'm at. Um, but as we can tell in Europe, especially Ghanaian music is very huge. Yeah. Right? Um, you've got people there that are doing it big there. Shout out to all of them, uh, putting the culture to the people so they can understand and know what the African culture is about. Because the music is actually portraying what that culture is about, right? right. Mm -hmm. So right now you go to, I feel so proud. Like I was in DR the other day and they, they were playing African music. Mm -hmm. um, and the guy that I went with went behind, started making them play our song, and people were jamming to it. I went to uh, a, a ball, like it's a party, holiday party the other day, and they were playing our song. It's like, it makes you feel good, that yeah. you feel welcome. Right. So uh, I think right now, a lot of people are trying to understand and know the, the, the African music per se, because all some most of the, especially most of the Hispanic songs, right? The base mm -hmm. of these music are made based on how we Ghanaians, how our music is made, yeah. right? Most of Nigerian songs, shout out to all the Nigerian artists and, and, and producers out there. Mm -hmm. um, they you know like that kick 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 like if you uh, if you that's, listen that's to, totally from Ghana. Right, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like it's all from Ghana and you know it, it's every it's like the genesis, the beginning, right? So now that is actually getting uh, brought in how to to the diaspora. I think it's it's pretty it's pretty interesting, and this is the time that we have to be even more proud yeah. as Black people, as Africans, yeah. as people of color, of color, and you know that's and, and I'm, I'm listen. There's no better time yeah. to be to feel like an African. Shout out to yeah. all Africans. Yeah, yeah. Let's go to the beauty supply store. We're playing um, a Monday for the yeah. 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 driving in New York and just like hear someone play, you know, African music. I turn so quick and right. I look in the car and it's like, it's a Spanish person or it's a white person. And I'm just like, wow, our music is resonating to everyone now. Like it's really big now, which is great. But there's some downsides to also our industry. Let's talk about that. <laughs> we gotta be down, we gotta talk about that. So as always, it's a back and forth. We're always wondering why Ghanaian music is not pushing like Nigerian music. Um, so what is your opinion on why we are kind of like stagnant and not really going as far as we should be? Um, I like to take this one. Okay, take it. Because this one's very personal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think most of the people, most of the musicians, especially in Ghana, mm -hmm. are not doing what they want to do. Mm -hmm. I think they're not producing the kind of songs that they want to produce. Yeah. I think they're just doing it because some of them want a hit song. Mm -hmm. And before you can get that kind of hit song, you need to follow the trend. Okay. So most of them are not, we have people, like people who are still doing what they want to do. Mm -hmm. I don't want to mention names, but there are some good musicians like that. If you allow me, I can mention like two or three. Okay. Like, it's like one. Okay. I mean, someone like Kofi. Kofi Kinata. Kofi Kinata is doing yeah. what he wants to do. Wants to do. Yeah. Someone like Apawa is doing yeah. what he wants to do. So these people are singing from within. Mm -hmm. And most of them are not doing that. They just want to hear song. But the thing is, the difference is that if you sing from within, if you have something that you can relate to, you you don't have to push it too much to get to the audience. That's, that's the truth of it. But if you just follow the trend, you get it. The hit song, you can easily have it. Mm -hmm. That's not a big deal. You can have the hit song. But the thing is, how how is that going to impact on the people? Mm -hmm. Because you didn't do something that you really believe in. Yeah. And I think that's that's one of the reasons. Mm -hmm. The other one is that, you know, how most of the musicians are like taking risks, they don't like spending mm -hmm. to push all the songs, you know. I haven't seen any Ghanaian musician having his album or whatever on um, those billboards on Times Square and all that. Mm -hmm. But I just can't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. so I think that's that's the reason why you know Ghanaian musicians and our Ghana songs are not going yeah. like how we expected to go. Yeah. And I think we can do better. 
Yeah, yeah. We can. No, I always say we can do better. Um, we, we were talking to Reynolds, the gentleman, last time. Oh, Ray, said, that's yeah, my boy. He, he said the same thing. He's like, yeah. money. Money's really yes. one of the biggest things. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of our artists just sit there and wait to, for somebody to say, oh, I want to manage you, to push you. Mm-hmm. But it's like, they don't really, you know, get the funds themselves. I know it's hard. Ghana is hard, trust me. Like, Adios. it's hard. <laughs> I know it's hard everywhere. But if it's something that you're passionate about and you but really want people to know you, you would sacrifice that's, that's, that's how. But the thing is, do we have people on board helping them? Mm. Because it's not, it's not like, oh, we know how to sing, so we have to get money before we can put our song out there. It shouldn't be like that. Right. Yeah. You understand? Mm-hmm. It shouldn't be like, because somebody like, let's say, Messi didn't wake up, and then he built a stadium to play, you know. Nah, yeah. It's yeah. not like that. So do we have people ready to support, you know, support the movement, the vibe, or whatever it is? So do you feel like Ghanaians don't support Ghanaians? I'm not saying Ghanaians don't. No, I'm talking about people like um, stakeholders or something like that. Okay. okay. You, you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not saying Ghanaians don't. Mm-hmm. We talk no, about that. Yeah. We'll get there. Okay. That's, yes, we'll get there. But yeah. that's not where we are yet. Yes, yes. Yeah. So I, I believe what, in a nutshell, what he's trying to say is that the support system is not there, mm-hmm. right? Because let's, let's be frank with ourselves. We all being, <clears throat> I don't come from a rich family, and I'll tell you that. Um, I, and I'm, that's, that's one part that makes me stay humble all the time because I know we, we know where we come from, right? Mm-hmm. So we don't have the, the adequate support because let's be frank if I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm you know my father used to be a, a poultry farmer right mm-hmm. so I'm saying used to be because he's in the 80s right now he's not doing that anymore right so you think how much money is coming from the farming for him to push it to hey uh, take the old, old Ghana city you know, or yeah take uh, let's say take uh, two, two million to find to find it is use it for music. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, and, and the way we were, we were, you know, coming up and all, the way I see in the you know, like you have to, you have to follow certain things. Your parent wants you to do this. Your parent wants you to do this. Very few people will get that authenticity because they've traveled. They've seen that. You know what? Talent actually sells. Right. If, if you develop talent, you get something better out of it. Yeah. Now everybody wants your son to play soccer. Mm. They want your son to, you know. Doctor, do, lawyer, engineer. Right? <laughs> yeah. So this, the system is not there. Right? Mm-hmm. right? The, the government is not. I don't, I don't think that there's a system there that supports the musicians. And right. I'm talking for, I'm talking to, you know, for those in Ghana. Because I, I was in Ghana in December, in January. Um, and I, I see it, right? The system is not there supporting them. We're fortunate enough, thank God, for, that we are here and not just sitting on our, uh, on, our t- you know, on our behind, but we're actually working hard. I got two jobs. He's got like two jobs too, right? Um, on top of that, we are funding everything our, on our own. We're not waiting for somebody to come and push us because right. we no know we're coming, trust me, right? Yeah. Um, but if you put yourself out there like you are doing right now, which I'm telling you, I'm, I'm so in love with it because if you decided to wait for somebody to come and tell you, Hey, let's form a group, this and that. You wouldn't get to where you are, right? So, if the system is not there, you, the individual, also have to push yourself Mm -hmm. with your last penny if you believe in yourself. And like he said, if you're authentic with what you're doing and you're not following trends, right? That's that's one way to go. I think it will also put you out there. Who knows, right? You just you just one click away. Every time we talk about it, a lot of people don't know two one eighty yet, but you're just one click away from the right person almost getting to know, and then that's it, yeah. right? Because um, thank God every song that we put out there, uh, people actually give us good feedback, and everybody loves it. Um, the, the energy y'all saw it, right? We we perform like it's it's there, yeah. but I know that sometimes you gotta crawl walk and then you get your feet so you can run yeah. you know no, that's, that's that's deep we just went too deep <laughs> 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 okay okay so what i would want to know so if you guys had a chance to collaborate with anyone anyone in the world who would it be <laughs> say yes i'm gonna say mine <laughs> anyone in the world yes <sighs> anyone any artist from anywhere in the world. Like my my uh, first one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> to me, I don't know. I might sound crazy because there are some people that growing up I used to listen to. Mm-hmm. So if my first number one, <laughs> Lizzie. 
Ooh, we see up there. Little Wayne. Oh, Little Wayne. 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 Sakawa is to San Korea, back to Akawa, Kanata, how much did they do? Sisi Lama. Oh, that one. Oh, nah, nah. Okay, what about you? That's a tough one. That's a tough one. I think anyone that actually I don't know. I, I don't know if I can mention names, but mm -hmm. I'm gonna just stay with what my brother said. So I feel like there has to be one, at least one artist that you really like. Maybe somebody you listen to like on a daily basis that you would like to collab with. You have to have one. But Ed Sheeran. You know what? Uh, it's it's very hard because I I listen to every kind of music and uh, I try not to pick. Like it, it depends on what is being presented to me, right? And I, I, uh, you know what? If if you're if international wise, yeah. you literally pick that word like the, the name out of my Alicia Keys. It's mm -hmm. it's like an idol. Her, Beyonce, um, and shout out to you know shout out Wally for pulling that out because mm -hmm. that's that's huge for Ghana, right? Yeah. Uh, go to Ghana. I'm a big I'm a big soccer player fan. Um, I'm a big uh, R2Bs. Aquabua, Kojunchi, Machi Dede. So you see, you have artists. I can't talk to you. I can't talk to you. I can't single people out. Hey, I'm the new dudes. Oh, of course. Asaka Boys and Sharif. Great, great kid. Like, he's doing his thing. Shout out to him, you know. And he brings a different flavor. Go to Nigeria. Right now, if you ask me Nigeria, who do you want to? I go straight whiskey. Okay. okay. Whiskey. Right. I have no doubt. For me. You say you differ. Who, who would whiskey. you do? Whiskey. No, no, no. I'm not even thinking of anything else like that. Fireboy. Fire yeah. Oh. Fireboy. Yeah. <laughs> Drum boy, fireboy. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Green mile. Okay. Whiskey. Whiskey. Yeah. 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 Hey, whiskey, if you hear me, bless his He's hearing you. He's whiskey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me take my shades off. Okay. I know you listen. You know what? My hat off too. I know you listen. How about that? Come, let's do some collab, man. Whiskey, whiskey, whiskey. I hear. Oh my, oh my, I know you do. Don't only talk to whiskey. I think King Promise must hear this too. King Promise, do you hear them? They're coming for you. Or should I have something like that? Ah, you take off your hat, man. Small one. Ooh. Hey. Shout out to you all. Y'all doing it, baby. Respect to you, man. No, I mean, you just mentioned some, like, some, some names in Ghana, yes. some big people. Yeah. And, um, you know, essentially the show is to, like, kind of push. It's, it's not kind of. We are. We're pushing everyone. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And um, I feel like a lot of people don't know a lot of um, artists that need to be known, you know? Right. Um, you know, we went to, we went to the um, Omolay concert mm -hmm. um, that happened a couple of weeks ago. And it was just nice to see so many different uh, people from different backgrounds mm -hmm. actually singing his song, you right. know what I'm saying? And that's when I was like, man, music is going really, really, really far. So like, what is the excuse now no for excuse. you to not get up there, right? So like, I think I want to stop even using the word upcoming artist. Like yeah. you guys, I know you don't consider yourself upcoming artists. They so, pay their dues. You pay their dues. Yes. Okay, so uh, if you are on a level, you are on a certain level in your mind, how far do you think you can go? Just, yes. Heaven. Hey, heaven. <laughs> let, let me tell you. Let me let me say this. I've been in the sky for so many times, right? Mm -hmm. um, what does that mean? The metaphor is coming. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been in the sky for so many times. I've, I've flown on jets, helicopters, oh, 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 oh. Um, okay. big planes. Mm -hmm. Not for travel, sake, but for work, right? Okay. Um, should we? 
Uh, 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 no, 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 right? Oh, okay. So, kind of stuff? So, okay. it's like... Exclusive! It's like, uh, there's nothing that it's, you, you, it's, it's always, it's on ending. Okay. So, I know that people keep saying the sky's the limit, but it is really, like, there's something above there. You okay. can keep going, you keep going, you keep going, oh. right? Um, I just want to get into a rocket one day and just shoot. <laughs> We think, we think how far you go. <laughs> we're gonna go very far because, like I said, what we're doing is very authentic, mm -hmm. and uh, there's there's love between us. Yeah. And, uh, love is for <laughs> <laughs> The chef and the eater. <laughs> no, the chef. Yeah, the chef. The chef. The chef. So you know, I think, um, and you know, we, we write the songs together. Mm -hmm. we, we do like. Sometimes I do my rap and be like, uh. Okay. Nah, he won't be like, oh, no. But be like, uh, this punchline, I know you're deep, but how many people can understand this punchline? Mm. And I have to, because I like to go deep sometimes, and I like to use a whole lot of metaphor and hyperbolic. Or a full, you know. Because, uh, <laughs> English. Like, English. <laughs> you think, how, how many people you think are gonna, you know, understand this? Because. Mm -hmm. Bring it down a bit. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes you can do a verse and be like, ah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, yeah. so. Yeah, the, the sky. Oh, you said the sky is not good. Yeah, it's, it's beyond it. Mm -hmm. we're, we're, we're going until, this is me, right? And I know he feels the same way. Um, mm -hmm. We're going until we cannot go anymore. You've talked uh, about, I think, a little bit of everything. So, what new project are you guys working on? New music, videos, whatever? Let us know. I know you guys got a new song. We just dropped, uh, it was what, October 29th? We, we dropped a one, Mekano. Mekano. Um, and shout out to, uh, what's his name? Uh, oh, um, Isaac Owusu. Isaac Owusu. He's Isaac one of our uh, good friends. Isaac, love you, brother. Um, the guy is so talented. Mm -hmm. When he gets music sometimes, he writes it and, and, and sing it. It's like, hey, you guys will be interested with it. And sometimes we look at it um, and then when I'm singing a song, I, I get a little selfish, and he will tell you, right? Sometimes I want it a certain way. Mm -hmm. If I'm not feeling the vibe, I'll be like, I, I don't like it this mm -hmm. way. And then when I do it, I'll, I'll tell him, hey, what do you think? And then he'll be like, hey, you do it. I'm like, hey, you better like it. You know? <laughs> but um, <laughs> Isaac is go and go hot. Right? Mm -hmm. Bro, you guys just actually really said something to me that it really resonated with me because I feel like a lot of African artists do not allow people to write music for them. They all feel like they have to write their music themselves. <laughs> and I feel like you're gonna get to a certain point in your career that you're you, you're, yeah, you're not gonna be able to write everything. Mm -hmm. Like why are, are, are some artists right off the back? I feel like they need somebody to help them write their music. <laughs> they can be great artists, they can sing, they can write, they can do everything. It's they just don't have the lyrics. Right. So why can't you pay somebody to write the song for you? Let me, let me tell you this. <laughs> so, so, so the thing is, Let's say you're a musician, right? Mm -hmm. And then you have only one engineer who produces your song. Right. Now, you, you release like 10 songs and it's becoming one way. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's kind of turn over. Okay, and then in everything, there's, there's this thing that I'm going to say, uh, this is two years of one. Right. Mm -hmm. right. So it's like we write our songs, but it's not like if somebody, you know, you, you know that somebody got it and can also write something, at least, the spices, what, whatever you have there. Uh, mm -hmm. So you know, Isaac, Isaac, as it started, we started writing songs together when I was in St. Peter's. I was in St. Peter's with him. Okay. Yeah, and he was one of the smartest dudes in St. Peter's. As I tell you right now, he lives here. And then I mean, the city. He's in Georgia, right? He's in Georgia, yeah. yeah. He's in Georgia. And then he's now. an actual scientist. Hmm. So he's he's doing very good. And then you know, sometimes he might. I think we have like two or three songs that yeah. mm -hmm. he wrote. He pitched it and then he wrote it. This is the first one we, we, we brought out. Was, yeah. uh, he, he's, he was part of it. But he gave us one song that we, if, if every time I sing that song, I I get passionate. Like, I get goosebumps. Mm -hmm. Do you want to give us something? Uh, like it goes like, is it Olu, right? Yeah, it's Olu. Um, I don't try the way I feel. No, that, you know we see you. Uh, I forgot. He said, I don't try the way I feel. You know we see me. I be lazy too. Mm -hmm. I try climb way I fall. I use my sense, but I know if you do, know if you do. But why my strength no they reach? Baba God come take me reach past. 
You see the favor he pour. Blessings that way, they follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Oh, do what you for me. Waiting on a feed by myself, yo. Let me stop sinking the world. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. Exclusive, now exclusive. Now the devil is shake. Me and no be team, bro. Hey. Me and no the break. Hey. Better the dinner. Hey, you're going to watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. <laughs> so, um, like you're saying, right? Sometimes you, I don't feel shy at all. Before even we began this group, I told him, listen, I know how to. I'm, I told him, I know myself. Mm -hmm. I'm a performer. I'm an entertainer. That's what I really wanted to do when I was growing up, right? Mm -hmm. So I told him. Hey, do you know somebody that can write music for me? Yeah, he told and he I told him, songs. I told him I can't, because I never <laughs> explored that part you of me, right? Yourself. So till day, till this day, till this day, he uses that in my face. Like, remember when you said you couldn't write a song? And I motivated you and I told him, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. But then until one day, you know, I started listening to beat. Um, and I, I was like, oh, okay. And I sing and I record it later on. Do you remember the first song you wrote? Like, you know? I think that was fun. <clears throat> Y'all <laughs> <laughs> like, got a lot of insiders. Y'all can't be doing this to us, okay? Yeah. Like, so we have, yeah. we have some songs, right? And he thinks that I sing that song because it's I'm singing like, it for I myself. Think. No, I, I, all right, I, we're not going to say like this in camera. Story. Yeah. You're talking like a personal story. Yeah, he thinks. Like, okay. Some, 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 some what is, broken what is, house songs that I think. Hey, say what broke your heart, then. Oh, say what, wherever you are. You see, he's big now. So that's part of it, right? Yeah. So I'm not worried, I'm not scared, I'm not shy. This is the reason why we can't stop. Right? Mm -hmm. Some have reasons to what it means. Yeah, that's somebody it. write a song and it, it, he's like, it's lit. hey, I'm putting it out there. If you have a great song and you think it's gonna, it makes sense, bring it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna chop it out one on two or three. Bra, 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 you know? You. And then I'll sing that because Beyonce, Jay Z, all these great musicians, people write songs for them. Yeah. So Jay Z writes songs for people all the time, yeah. right? So it's nothing. But that's not to say we don't write our own songs. Oh, oh we of course have, not. If we like, have like thirty songs now, I think we were thirty, uh, twenty-seven. Yeah. Okay. Because I think like yeah. Sikadam, for real, we Sikadam did it. Sikadam, but we don't. Hey. <laughs> 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 I bought with that one. Like, that's why I saw him man. Oh yeah, God, yeah, God, yeah. <laughs> Wow. Okay. I think man. it's all the gifts that. We already paid that you have to pay back. Okay, okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Woo, okay, we've uh, we've delved into a lot of stuff. Yeah. Man. I feel like I've gotten to know them on like a different level, uh -huh. you know. I mean we got to see them at, you know, the Ghana to the World concert. Mm -hmm. As soon as we saw them, it was like, we need to talk to them. Like right off the bat. Like the energy, the energy and everything. We was like, no, we need to talk to them. And and, and they're here, you know, they're here. We're, we're happy uh -huh. for that. Um yeah, so share your socials to everybody, you know, let them know how they can listen can to I, you. Can I say one more thing? Yeah. So hey, shout out to uh, one of our boys, his name is Ray, uh, Ray Billboard. He's a producer of the last two songs that we made, Yehovah Kaimi, mm -hmm. right? No, last song that we made. Two songs. Oh, last two songs. Yeah, yeah. Okay. so Yehovah Kaimi. Um, he's the one that actually then, then charged us a penny for the beat. He made the beat from scratch. The beat was for, like, he made it for something else and then we were driving, we started jumping on, we went to his studio, because we have a studio at, at where he, he made it for right? a church. He made it for a church. And we signed that's from that. Right? From church. And then and then he you know, part of the video, he shot the video to to his vision. So I just wanna say thank thanks to him. Um, he's been with us and helped us in, in so many ways. So nice. um, yeah, but I just wanted to say that. If you haven't checked that song, I will check it out. Yo Akai, 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 this is, this is why when sometimes you write, I'm like, wait, what do you mean by that? And I'm like, oh, okay, oh this, is, this is easy. Oh, nice, nice. Like, okay, yeah, your socials, your socials, guys. So, so yes. uh, together it's 218 mm -hmm. um, T O O W A N mm -hmm. and the number 8. T O O W A N and the number 8. Mm -hmm. um, on Facebook, on, on uh, Twitter, um, and I believe YouTube as well. Same name. Um, on Instagram, we. Somebody had already taken that name and we're looking for you. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's 
So you just add just vibe to it, V Y, mm-hmm. vibe with a Y, so mm-hmm. two one eight vibe, okay. two one eight Y uh, vibe, um, and that's pretty much it. Personal, we have our own personal socials. Um, mine is V U uh, G A underscore A A Y V U G. And then uh, <laughs> mine is Sussy Boxy. I didn't change nothing. So it's, 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 hey, you don't know nothing. Let me tell you something. Sussy <laughs> Boxy. Um, I mean, I have a Twitter account, I think, but I'm not very active. I'm yeah. active on IG and um, which one? Facebook. Snap. Oh, Snap. Snap. Snap okay. is Peter Boss, man. Okay. okay. It's not the same thing. I think mine is Vuge or Henry Vuga. Well, yeah. thank you guys for coming on our show, The Sit Down. We really appreciate it. Like, we're amazing. You guys are really killing it in New York City. <laughs> <laughs> You don't, you're, not, you're not in Ghana right now, okay? And they're here. <laughs> and, you know, we, we know that you guys will go far. We hope that you guys continue to push. And don't break up. We're tired of people breaking up. Yes. Husband and wife stay together. Yes. Remember your, uh, your vows. That's, that's, that's my wife. Uh-huh. <laughs> Remember your vows. Yo, yo, that's, me, bro. that's, that's, that's too, my bro. Too many good times. That's my bro. That's you my know, bro. breaking up. I mean, you know, we think. Thank you guys for coming. Thank we you so much. We really appreciate you um, guys. Yeah, guys. So this was a Thank sit down. We had a chat. Thank you guys for having us. You know, no problem. We this is what we do, guys. This is what it's about. Okay. So we hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure you follow us, subscribe, like, comment, share. We leave all their details below. Um, we're gonna uh, put their video as well for you guys to check out. We appreciate you guys for tuning in, and we'll see you guys on the next sit down.